In this video we'll be looking at the random letter generators found in the tools of the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Let's have a look at the example they've given us to see how it works. There are three different types of letter generators, general letters, consonants and vowels. In this example they've used a general one. They've asked the students to pick five letters and see how many words can be created from them. The students come up and they click on the generator and then they inject the letter and then they can go ahead and they can go and make as many letters as they want. They can come up and they can write them down. If the teacher wanted, she could go and infinite clone the letters and the students could go and then drag out the letters and make words. Good fun activity and very interactive so the students get to interact while they're doing this lesson. Let's have a look where we find the letter generators. If I click on the gallery tab and then click on lesson activity toolkit and then click on tools you'll see that there are three different ones the random constant generator, the random letter generator and the random vowel generator. I simply need to double click or drag them in and they will appear on my page. So here I have the examples of all three they all have the same layout so they have three buttons you can press. No repeat it's pretty straightforward means that it won't repeat the letter. If I want them in lower case I'd click on here so they'd come out in lowercase letters and the third button is to inject automatically so if I click on that every time I spin it will bring out a letter but keep in mind that every time I spin it's going to put it in the same place so you do need to move these letters around. The random letter will have all the letters in there, the random consonant, just the consonants and the random vowels and they all work the same way. There is something I want you to keep in mind Depending on what text you have set as your default up in toolbar 2, so when you come back and click on the letter, it will now inject that type. If I was to go and change it again to Comic Sans Black 48, let's make it blue so we can see, and I inject from this random generator, it will inject it as that type of font. So keep that in mind when you want to generate it. It's normally on your default Arial. This is a great little tool and as you can see you can have more than one. So you could have just the consonants and the vowels and they need to pull out just consonants and some vowels and then create letters. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.